Hello folks, my name is George and today's video is all about getting started with L293D Motor Driver Shield for Arduino. It has two pieces of L293D Dual H-Bridge Motor Driver IC to be able to provide control to a total of four DC motors. This is the two L293D chip. And it also has 748C595 chip registers to minimize the use of pins. This one. The L293D pin assignments is as follows. For the DC motors, digital pin 11 for motor 1, digital pin 3 for motor 2, digital pin 5 for motor 3, digital pin 6 for motor 4. For servo motors, digital pin 9 for servo 1 and digital pin 10 for servo 2. While the ship registers is using the digital pins 4, 7, 8, and 12. The hardware serial is still connected to digital pin 0 and 1. While the following pins are not connected and free to use. Digital pins 2 and 13 and the analog A0 to A5. The L293D motor driver shield can be used to run four DC motors in bidirectional turns. So this is by using the M1, this first one, M1, the M2 for the second motor, the M3 for the third motor, and the M4 for the fourth motor. It can also run two stepper motors, unipolar and bipolar, by using the terminal 1 and 2, 1 and 2 for the stepper motor 1, and the terminal block M3 and M4 for the second stepper motor. While the servo motors can be run using these pins, which is the servo 1 and servo 2, which is connected to digital pin 9 and 10. So you may ask how we will power the motor driver shield and the Arduino. Our first option is a single power supply for both the Arduino and the motor driver shield. We can connect a DC, AC to DC adapter to the barrel jack of the Arduino like this or we can connect an external power supply through the through this EXT power terminal block like this if this is a power supply here with this setup a single power supply Take advantage of the onboard voltage regulator which is found in the Arduino Uno board. We need to make sure that the PWR jumper pin is in place. So this is the PWR jumper pin. So this is necessary during a single power supply for both the Arduino and the motor driver shield. The next option is a separate power supply for Arduino and for motors. So for Arduino, we can power the Arduino through the DC power, AC to DC barrel jack or through the USB. Next is for the motor driver shield. We can power the motors through the EXT power and make sure that the jumper wire in the PWR is removed. This is to ensure that we protect our Arduino from damage. The L293D motor driver shield also comes with the pull-down resistor array 
which is this one. This is to keep the motors switched off during power up. It also comes with the power LED indicator, this LED green LED, and a reset switch, which is basically an extension of the Arduino reset button. And for the demonstration, we will only use a single power supply for both the Arduino Uno and for the motor driver shield. So first, we will connect our Arduino and the motor driver shield. So we just fit the connectors like this one. So the Arduino Uno is below. Since this is a single power supply, we will put the jumper wire in the PWR. We will also need a DC motor for this demonstration. Next, we will connect our DC motor to the terminal block M1. Now it's okay. Next, we will connect the USB to our Arduino for power and for programming, uploading the sketch. And as you can see, the LED power indicator is now on. Now we will go to our desktop computer. First, we open our Arduino IDE, then go to Sketch, Include Libraries, Manage Libraries, then we search for Motor Shield. We will download the Adaproot Motor Shield version 1. After the download, close, go to File, Examples, and look for the Adaproot Motor Shield library. And we will use the example motor test. Since we connect our DC motor in the M1, we will change this to 1. So as you can see, it's it includes the AF motor that H, which is the Adaproot motor shield. Then it initialize it creates an object or a DC motor. Then this is for the serial. Set the motor speed. Motor that run release means stop. Then we will use this one. So basically, it will run the motor forward in, with the increasing speed. Then we run backward with decreasing speed then we release which means stop then loop again next we will choose the correct board which is the Arduino Uno board then make sure that the correct serial COM port is selected for here COM9 after that we upload this sketch Wait until the compilation and the upload is finished. After done uploading, we can check also the serial monitor. Motor test, tick. Stop. So tick when forward. Tick tock tech. And 
as you can see, our motor is now turning forward, then backward, then forward again. That's all everyone. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave your comments and suggestions in the comment box. Thank you and have a good day. Bye. Happy tinkering.